Book of the Week, Sugar Blues by William Dufty. Hi, welcome everybody. It's Jason Barlow, RMT. I'm here today as your therapist and as your coach to help you transform any stress, tension, and pain into health, happiness, and vitality. If you joined me yesterday, you would have heard me talk a bit deeper in my book, The 15-Step Playbook for Pain Relief. My step number 10 is all about the content of this very book. That's what inspired me to put it in my book itself, is to help be uh, help people become educated as to the radical shifts in our physiology and blood chemistry that occurs when we have too much of the wrong type of sugar entering into our body. Now, we've also got to factor in that we've got to put sugar in its overall context with respect of fruits and even some vegetables too. Remember, if you've read my book, it's the dose that makes the poison, that even if you're just getting strictly sugar from fruits, it is the dose that makes the poison. You can almost start to create the same reaction in your biology as if you're eating more of a refined sugar, which is what this very book highlights in a lot of detail. It talks about the history as well as the science of especially white sugar. Now, this was labeled as a white man's food by Dr. Weston A. Price in his research, of which he coined that term from indigenous people that he was connecting with and taking photo, photographs of to illustrate their brain, sorry, their uh, oral cavity. He was a dentist and a nutritional pioneer back in the 40s. And he heard this term of white man's food. And they were actually alluding to processed through foods, white sugar in particular, and any foods that essentially came with a whole host of other ingredients. These indigenous people we're eating a very raw diet, partly, as well as pure foods, like whole foods, no foods that were wrapped in packaging, that were sent across the country. They were literally from ground to mouth almost, maybe rinsed off, maybe not. Who knows? Um, but you're getting the essence that the longer the distance our food has to travel, the more preservatives that they need, and especially sugar is used as quite a preservative in a lot of foods. Now, we've got to go and become our own sugar detective. And this book is a good way to train you to become a good sugar detective because there are many formats that sugar comes in. Dextrose, sucralose, fructose, glucose fructose, uh, corn syrup, uh, and so forth. That we, We've got to be very vigilant and explore and look at these food sources that we're consuming. And then ultimately, we definitely have to have because I've been at the one extreme where I'm really, really focused, really anal about the foods I'm putting in my body, but I couldn't sustain it because I like to live life and I like to be around a variety of people and I like to be entertained and go, be, you know, and entertain other people that, you know, we, we, we can only do so much and we live in a modern world. So what I'm saying here is just be relaxed about this approach, read and understand, but remember ultimately it is the dose that makes the poison. Now, if this book intrigues you, but you're like, well, I haven't got time to read, because it's very heavy on content, right? There is not much by way of images in this book. Go get my book, start with mine, because I summarize it into one page, four or five paragraphs of the, research that I found in this book, and then join me on these podcast episodes where I dive in a bit deeper. So William Dufty did a great deal of research. This is back in the 80s, by the way. This is an old book. But nevertheless, it, it packs a punch. I'm going to read the back to you real quick, but I want you to understand there's, there's some brilliant material in here that alludes to the fact that sugar could be labeled as a legal drug. The impact that it's having, the, the ramifications on our physiology and biology, the influence it has on how we function and perform on a daily basis, like it gets into traffic, motor vehicle accident statistics, and there's occasions where people fall asleep behind the wheel, and there's no alcohol-related um, cause. There's a link, though, when they do some due diligence of a sugar crash. Now, if you listen to my podcast yesterday, this is what I described. I was driving home. I just had two huge scones. This was in Yorkshire. And I said to my wife, you're going to have to take over driving. And I slept the entire journey back for 40 minutes. It was a beautiful sleep, by the way. But I was experiencing that. And there ties into what I've read in this book that had I've continued to drive, my eyes would have been starting to 
clothes and maybe who knows that could have caused an accident and and i wouldn't have liked to have known that would have happened but the point being bear in mind the impact that sugar has on your diet and what it could be doing and especially if you're feeling tired uh, in the afternoons this could be related to sugar drop that you're experiencing okay the shocker that cured millions of the sugar blues will it cure your you too it's a prime ingredient in countless substances that we eat and we drink from cereal to soup, from cola to coffee, consumed at the rate of 100 pounds every American year. Now, bear in mind, this is almost 40 years ago, so we can definitely take that up another notch. It's as addictive as nicotine and heroin and as poisonous, responsible for modern day plagues ranging from depression to coronary thrombosis. It's sugar. And Sugar Blues, inspired by the crusade of Hollywood legend Gloria Swanson, is the classic best-selling expose that unmasks our generation's greatest medical killer. Yet, at the same time, shows how a revitalizing, sugar-free diet can not only change your life, but quite possibly save it. That's huge. You know, and I think we could add in cancer onto this list at the current time. Because everything I've researched and understood about cancer thrives in a very acidic and high sugar type of environment. In the sense of the more sugars you uh, consume, the more it feeds the cancer. It's a raw fuel to all our biology. But especially if there's any diseases in our body already, uh, th there, there's a lot of feeding that goes on in that mechanism through the sugar that we're consuming. Um, so I would highly recommend, and especially if anybody struggles with any candida, fungal infection, um, and uh, parasites, and a lot of these things can be unknown um, causes of stress, tension, and pain. I, I try to educate as many people as possible, as often as possible, as to, hey, Beyond just you telling me your neck is sore, how long has it been sore? How many different treatments have you already had? And how much have you been investing over the last five years trying to solve the problem? And, you know, yes, to a certain degree, great. I can do a deeper tissue massage maybe than the last therapist that you did. But if you've had some massage and it didn't go away, that makes me, again, throw some flags into the mix of understanding, hey, maybe there's something more than meets the eye in terms of it being just a purely muscular response. Sometimes it is just a pure muscular response. But from my experience two decades, I would say there's probably going to be some underlying emotional attributes that contribute to that particular cause. There's going to definitely be some mechanical causes by way of your posture and alignment. There's also going to be other elements by way of maybe the medications you're consuming, the foods and, and diet you currently follow relationships that you're experiencing, your, your work and your satisfaction in life and fulfillment. Um, and, and also then what are you doing by way of sleep and mindset? Now I put that one last, but maybe I should put that first because I do in my book because mindset is absolutely integral. And I tell my clients all the time, right? Head first, go head first when you go to tackle anything with respect of improving your health, your happiness, your vitality. Thank you. I hope you found that a benefit. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Give me something. Give me some feedback. Any books that you've been reading you want me to go read and check out and give a review of. i got a stack of books. I mean, there's some behind me I've still not read. There's, there's always books to be read. These are books that I've read a few years ago just because right now I'm studying quite a bit of content in in particular area. Um, and so as a result of that, my time has been taken up quite, uh, quite quickly with that field. So nevertheless, I will leave you on that note. Enjoy your weekend, and thank you very much for joining me. Remember, you can still get my book for free if you go to my website, jasonbarlowrmt.com. Be well.